Here we go. We were talking about long division last week. Uh, and so our last class, I'm sorry. So just recapping what we said, when you divide by long division, you divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. The same thing that you learned at the end of third grade, um, beginning of fourth grade with regular long division, it's the same process with polynomials. The only difference now is that you have variables in place, right? Which is, tends to make things a little bit more interesting, okay? All right, so um, we did an example together where we followed the divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Now we're gonna do another example, um, follow the same thing, okay? So here we have 4x squared plus 2x plus 1. So I'm going to set up my division. So we have 2x minus 1 goes on the outside. Um, did y'all see your teacher all, like when it's written in fraction form, the cowboy rides the horse? Nobody? So at night, the cowboy goes inside and the horse stays outside. Okay, so the cowboy rides the horse. At night, the cowboy goes in, the horse stays outside. That's how you know when you're setting up your division correctly. Okay, we're going to follow the divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Okay, when you're dividing, you're dividing your leading terms only. So you're asking yourself, in my head, I'm saying, what is 4x squared divided by 2x? And I'm going to tell myself, so 2x. So that's the first part of my quotient. After you divide, then you're going to multiply. You're multiplying this part of your quotient times your divisor. So I have 2x times 2x minus 1. What do I get? 4x squared minus 2x. There we go. So we get 4x squared minus 2x. That's the multiply thing. Third, you subtract. When you subtract, that means you're going to change signs and combine. So we change the signs and combine. So instead of a positive, this became a negative. Instead of a negative, this became a positive. And now we're going to combine. And I get 2x plus 2x is 4x. And then the B stands for bring down. So I'm going to bring down what I have left. And then we repeat. Mm -hmm. And then we repeat. So we have 4x divided by 2x. So in my head, I'm asking myself, what's 4x divided by 2x? And what do I tell myself? Uh, two. two, perfect. So this is going to be plus 2. After we divide, we then multiply. So I'm going to multiply this part of the quotient times the divisor. So we get 2 times 2x minus 1. What is 2 times 2x minus 1? 4x minus 2. Okay. After we do that, we subtract. When we subtract, that means we change signs and combine. So we change our signs and we combine and I'm left with 3. This doesn't have a variable. So this is my remainder. So your remainder is written as plus three over two X minus one. And it's plus three because it is a positive. That's my remainder. All right. What are our questions about dividing? Remember, it's a lot of little things that you already know how to do, which is combine to one big thing, okay? A lot of little things to make one big idea. All right? If you are dividing and checking, uh, what you would do is, if you're like, I'm not sure if I got this right, I would take what I got in the beginning. So I have 2x plus 2 times 2x minus 1. And I would go through FOIL, right? which is just multiple distribution and see if I end up with where I'm at. So when I do multiple distribution, I end up with 4x squared minus 2x plus 4x minus 2. And that gives me 4x squared plus 2x minus 2. But what did I need? 
plus one. And what did I have left over? That remainder, that's where that plus three comes in. That's my remainder. And I now know that I have four X squared plus two X plus one. And is that what I needed? Yes, that's what's underneath my division, okay? You can always check yourself. So if you're unsure of whether you did it right, uh, multiply, distribute, and check yourself, okay? Just don't forget to add that remainder if a remainder exists. Because you're like, oh, dang it, I did it wrong. You didn't do it wrong. You just forgot to add your remainder back, okay? All right. Now we're going to talk about um, what if you're missing variables? What do you do? Well, when you're missing variables, you're going to fill in with zeros. So when we're missing terms, we're going to put in zeros for those missing terms. So notice here, this is x squared plus 2. With long division, all terms need to be present from your highest down to your lowest. So right here, I'm missing my x term. So when I write this, it's going to be x squared plus and I'm going to fill in my 0x plus 2. So do we get where we why, where it means when you were missing a term? Divide it by. So now when I look here, it's 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4. What is this missing? It's missing an x term also, right? So when I write it, it's going to be 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus, put in my 0x plus 4. Now, do the polynomials have any missing terms? Once you have filled in all the missing terms, you now are going to just follow the same process. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not contagious. All right. So here we go to ourselves. Or uh, we ask ourselves, what is 3x cubed divided by x squared? Again, if you can't think about it, write it down. 3x cubed divided by x squared. What does that give me? 3x. So the first part of my quotient is 3x. Okay. Second, after we divide, we multiply. So you take that part of your quotient and multiply by your divisor. So we have 3x times x squared plus 0x plus 2. Again, the steps on the right side are, if you are good at mental, you're doing it mentally. If you're not good mentally, then write it out. No one's going to know that you're writing it out or choosing to write it out. Okay. Uh, next period. For what? Oh, they're fixing my ceiling. I can't do anything about it. All right, here we go. So we're going to multiply 3x times x squared plus 0x plus 2. So that gives us 3x cubed plus 0x squared plus 6x. Does that make sense? Because anything times 0 is going to be 0. Okay, when we subtract, we change signs and combine. So this becomes a negative, this becomes a negative, this becomes a negative. When we combine, this is eliminated, which is the goal, right? To get rid of one term. So now we have negative two plus or minus zero, which doesn't really matter. It's just gonna be negative two X squared. We have zero minus six X, which makes it negative six X. And then the last thing we're gonna do is bring down. Now we're going to repeat the steps all over again. So step one is to divide your leading coefficient. So we're dividing what is negative 2x squared divided by x squared. Negative 2. Now we're going to multiply. Negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times 0 is 0x. Zero negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. When we combine, meant when we subtract, we're going to change signs and combine. 
The reason why you're changing signs because you're distributing that negative. It has to go to all of them, right? So negative six plus or minus zero is still going to be negative six. And then four plus four is eight. This whole thing is your remainder. The reason why it's your remainder is because I can't divide anymore, can I? X squared is bigger than negative six X. So my division is done. So this is my remainder. So plus negative 6x plus 8 all over x squared plus 2. And that is your quotient. Okay, that's long division. Questions, comments, concerns about long division? It is on the non-calculator part. You are absolutely right. All right.